So off and away for the A final four wheel drive, led off by Lee Martin already up on two wheels, just gets away with it. Craig Collinson there second, nice tidy start as we want to see from these A finalists. So Lee Martin, Craig Collinson, Lee Martin's over with a massive crash, oh gets it back on its wheel somehow, so it's Craig Collinson leading, Eugene Gulley and Lee Martin. Tom Cockrell there in fourth position also. So top three coming down into the bomb hole. 
Lee Martin looking to move on, Eugene Galley. Eugene covers it nicely, oh, and he's over. So Lee Martin back to the two spot, Cockrell up to third, Eugene fourth. So Craig Collinson trying to stretch his legs, but he's got Lee Martin and Tom Cockrell giving chase in second and third. Down the straight they go. So Craig Collinson's lead is just 1.1 second on the last lap. Looks slightly closer this time. Lee Martin closing in, pushing on. The gap's down to eight tenths of a second. Tom Cockrell, Eugene Galley also going with him. So a very fast pace at the start of this eight final. One minute quickly down, four to go. See the gap coming down, Craig Collinson and Lee Martin giving chase, Lee giving it absolutely full beans down the straight and Tom Cockrell, Eugene Galley, Ian Mellish, top five just starting breakaway now from the rest of the pack but Lee Martin going with and catching Craig Collinson, Tom Cockrell not too far behind also and Eugene Galley, Lee, oh, Lee is over again, back on his wheels, champions roll as we call it, Tom Cockrell's over, back on his wheels as well part-timer role we'll call that one so Craig Collinson Lee Martin Eugene Galley up to the three spot Tom Cockrell fourth Ian Mellish five approaching the two minute mark so three minutes remaining Ryan Marshall watch your area please Lee Martin over again back on his wheels it's cost him a few tenths so Collinson Martin Galley Cockrell Collinson's over in the bomb also, Lee Martin, your new race leader from Eugene Galley, Tom Cockrell and Craig Collinson down to the four spot, Ian Melly still five, still over half the race remaining, lots can still change and happen, so Lee Martin down the straight, Eugene Galley, Craig Collinson, Tom Cockrell, so Collinson already dispatched Cockrell on that lap, Giving chase to Eugene Gully. Hancock is going with Craig. So it's over half race distance now. Lee Martin is stretching his legs now. Two seconds clear. Down the straight he goes. Pretty much a length of straight there. Lead for Lee Martin over Eugene Gully. Craig Collinson giving chase. Eugene has track position. And they've both pulled away slightly now from Cockers running in fourth. Collinson has a bit of a mistake. There's a bit of breathing space there to Gully. So, so three minutes gone, under two remaining, Lee Martin and Eugene Galley pretty much identical laps last time through, so very little in it on the pace. Lee goes through, 23-8, here comes Eugene, 23-4, so Eugene takes four tenths out of Lee's lead. And Lee Martin got it under control, went into cruise mode, or well, Eugene absolutely on a mission. Lee Martin, Eugene Gully, Craig Collinson, Tom Cockrell, James Helion out to fifth, Josh Holdsworth, Ian Mellish, Luke Holdsworth, Jack Neal, James Chappell, Alan O'Brien and Kev Lee is your four running order. Approaching the four minute mark, so one minute to go drivers. Lee Martin onto the straight now. Absolutely got the hammer down in this one. Eugene Galley still second, Collinson doing everything he can to catch Eugene and there comes Tom Cockrell not giving up on his podium spot as yet so second, third and fourth that is the main first race on track, Lee Martin pulling seconds to go, Lee Martin, Eugene Galley, Craig Collinson got some serious horsepower in that and Tom Cockrell Second, third and fourth coming to the line now. Cock is giving pressure to Collinson. Collinson does not want that. He wants to try and put pressure on Eugene Gully. He wants attack mode. He's having to go defensive because Cock is looking every way he can for a move on Collinson. 15 seconds to go. So there's going to be this lap and they're probably going to go one more time. Eugene slightly sideways onto the straight. Here comes Collinson getting a run. Five seconds. It's going to be close to the time as they cross the line. You guys are all done, so massive round of applause. Eugene Galley finishes second, Craig Collinson third, Tom Cockrell fourth. And your winner will be coming round, end of the straight now, into the bomb hole. What a drive, what a win. Pole position man converts it to the victory. Lee Martin is your... Year final, two wheel drive.
So Crag leads away from Paul. Crompton hits the pipe already, but all getting away with it. So it is Crag, Crompton and Cocker. And we've got Ben Smith, Callum Storey. Oh, someone having a little nibble in the middle. Jamie Hall by the looks of it. So Crag going to pull away. Or will he? Crompton going to do everything he can. So Crag into turn one. Crompton, oh! Crompton and Cocker coming together. So Ben Smith going to go two spot, runs wide. Cocker going to get it. So it's Cocker, Smith, Callum, Crompton, Story, Jemison. Oh, Crompton coming off worse out of every single one of them. Crompton dropping all the way down. So Crag out front, 3.2's lead after one. And um, Neil last time by, 23.9. So Neil Cragg is your leader. So just, just to let you all know, fastest lap of the day, Tom Cockrell, 22.7. Thank you very much. I can take some plaudits here. And I don't think Neil's going to beat it. But I'm not saying that as a challenge, Neil. Screw you. So Cragg leads this from Connor Cocker and Ben Smith. Paul Crompton working his way back up to the fourth spot. Followed by Callum, Storey and Jemison. Yeah, 23.9 from Craig. You've only got 1.2 to go, but you can probably do it. So please don't try. <laughs> He's trying. <laughs> Six seconds clear now. So Crompton up to the two spot. And to celebrate, he puts it on his roof. So Connor Cocker now going to go to second. So second place battle down the straight now. It's Cocker and Crompton. Into the bubble they go. So it's one, two, three, four, five car freight train. You've got Cocker, Crompton, Smith, Story, Jemison, Callan and Hall all together. So driving away from the Rock and Connor, uh, Connor Cocker fending off Paul Crompton for second position. And looks like Lloyd Story now up to fifth from Jemison, uh, sorry, fourth. And Jemison in fifth. Crag last time by 25.8. He's had a lot of errors, he must be trying hard. Tyres have gone off apparently. So Crompton back up to the two spot now. Just two tenths between them last time by, so coming through the centre of the field. Blue and black car, perfect for these twilight colours. Followed by the white and purple of Connor Cocker. Craig goes by, 24-1 last time by. Lead is seven and a half seconds from Paul Crompton, Connor Cocker, Lloyd Story and Ben Jemison, your top five. And it is 3.13 down and 1.45 to go. Ben Smith having a bit of an error in the middle. So race leader into the ball. Normal colours of yellow, orange and red for Mr. Craig. And crosses the line 24-3 last time by for him. Paul Crompton into the ball. Chased down by Connor Cocker last time by. Half a second between them. This time by 0.9. So Crompton pulling away ever so slightly. 24-2 from Crompton. Best lap. 24-6 last time by from Crompton. So race leader is coming out the bomb hole with one minute and ten seconds to go. Second place, end of the straight. Connor Cocker's had an error, so he's now got Jemison for company. So Jemison and Cocker is your battle for podium. Into the bomb hole they go and out again. Last time by for Craig, 24-2. 24-2 from Crompton. 27 from Connor. 24-6 from Jemison. Best lap of the race for Jemison. So Jemison and Cocker battling out for podium with 50 seconds remaining. Oh, Jemison on the inside, absolute harpoons him. Let's Connor go. So that is just allowed Lois and Laurie back into the battle. All three of them round the end of the straight together, 40 seconds to go. Last time by for Craig, 25-5, 24-5 for Crompton. Cocker, Jemison, Story, here they come across the line, 30 seconds remaining. This lap and one more if you go clean, and I'm not lying unlike Muzzy. So it is Jemis, uh, Cocker from Jemison, from Story, with 20 seconds to go as they come down the straight. You're going to go this lap and one more. Can Connor Cocker hold on? Can Jemison do anything about podium? Into the bottom we go, and out again. Jemison looking left and right. They've dropped Lloyd ever so slightly. Four seconds remaining as they cross the line. 
Story, you are through too. Jemison looking up the inside through the front section, not going to make it stick. Time has expired. You are racing to the line. Jemison goes long, not going to get him there. So Jemison, can he do anything? Into turn one is my guess. Drag race. Connor Cock into turn one, not a problem. Jemo looking left, looking right. Can he do anything? It's going to be a race to the line. Oh, Jemo wheelies. Oh, and he's going to throw it away. Connor Cocker comes in third. Story comes in fourth. Jemo in fifth. B final, two wheel drive. So, oh, Ben Riley, what a start. Getting away with it, to be fair. Only lost two spots. Wheelied on his roof, back on his wheels. Not saying Ben's got the most power out of anyone, but he usually is the quickest. Probably, oh, someone's crashed. Looks like the lead is crashing. So absolute carnage. I think that's Matt Moore out front now. So don't really know what happened out front, but it looks like Matt Moore is leading. Ben Riley's recovered up to the free spot. So it is Matt Moore, Chris Green, Ben Riley, Chris Foster, Joe Cockhill. Trying to double bump for Cockhill. Thompson down to six spot. Greg Williams seven. Darren Pollard 8, Trish Neal 9, Pete Lance 10, Charlie Edwards 11. So Cocker's gone, get yourself prepared, ready for his A final coming up. Takes over a minute gone in the B final. Matt Moore, Chris Green, Chris Foster, Matt Thompson, Greg Williams, top five. And it's all about being in the top two to bump up. And Matt Moore and Chris Green doing exactly what they need to do. Matt Thompson not too far behind Chris Green now in third. And Greg Williams coming up from the nine spot all the way up to fourth now. Chris Foster running five. C Cup, you're from 11th up to six now. A mistake from Greg Williams. Uh, looks like he's out. So it's Matt Moore, Chris Green, and Matt Thompson. The closest race on for the second bump spot. Matt Thompson giving pressure to Chris Green. And a bit of a gap then back to fourth. And C Cup up to fifth. Make that fourth. And Trish Neal not too far behind also. So two minutes on the race clock. Three to go. So Matt Moore leads by one and a half seconds. Most important bit is he wants to bump up to the A final. Anyone? Chris Green still under pressure from Matt Thompson. Both driving nicely. Still halfway through the race. So two and a half down, two and a half to go. Chris Green makes a mistake. Matt Thompson makes a mistake. Both pretty much get away with it. Matt just lost a little bit of ground. Well, that does, it gives Matt Moore a little bit more breathing space at the sharp end. Into the bomb off your race leader. Brown crosses the line now. Here comes Chris Green. So Matt Thompson got it all to do. Chris Green goes sideways over the loop. So loses a couple of tenths. So just over two minutes to go. So race leader onto the straight now. Here comes second place onto the straight. And third. So not all over yet. Chris Neal in fourth as well. So just over the length of the straight between second, third and fourth. In real time, it's about two seconds. So Matt Moore, one and a half seconds clear of Chris Green. One and a half back to Matt Thompson. Two and a half more back to Trish Neal. So a leader down the straight, second and third. And Matt Thompson closing in once again on Chris Green. Took four tenths of a second on the last lap. One minute 20 left on the race clock. So Matt Moore being chased down by Chris Green and Matt Thompson. So Chris Green still in attack mode to try and catch Matt Moore. He's well watching mirrors to Matt Thompson not too far behind. Lends the straight now separates the top three. And the five second gap back to Chris in fourth. And the top two to bump up. One minute to go. And the battle really on now. Passing the driver's stand. Matt Thompson all over the back of Chris Green. Matt Moore just doing what he needs to do, keeping it out there in the middle of the track. Oh, he's on two wheels, gets it down. Chris Green makes a mistake, Matt Thompson through. Matt Thompson's over. 
after all the hard work. Took him four minutes to get there and then throws it away on one corner. Can he do anything about it in the final 30 seconds? Here comes Matt Moore. Chris Green right behind Matt Moore. Matt Thompson makes a mistake, so Trish Neal now closing on third. So first two broke away from everybody else. This lap and one more lap for the leaders. Chris Green makes a mistake, gets away with it. Oh, Ben Riley off into the scenery. Watch out, Johnny Dronfield incoming. Chris Green's over. Matt Thompson is over again. Trish Neal running third. He could be on time, drivers. Matt Moore goes through. I think the rest of you will be caught on the line. Chris Green, you are done. So well done. You bump. B final, four wheel drive. So Chapel leads way from Kev Lee in pole, Dan Austin in third, Ethan Chapel four, Harry Britton five, there's Carnage, go Dan, go, 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 no one's watching, there's no rest, the mixer is over the top Steve, we don't know what you're uh, compensating for, but <laughs> this is true, <laughs> quite quick for you, <laughs> I've got a microphone and you don't, <laughs> So James Chappell leads from Kev Lee. I think you can still bump up. Third, I think, is Ethan Snow Car 5 of Harry Britton. Then Dan Austin in fourth. So this is going to be a close one. So Chappell and Kev Lee and Harry Britton and Dan Austin. So four car breakaway coming down the straightaway now. Oh, Kev Lee coming onto the straightaway on two wheels. Looks like a... No, I think it's X-ray. No, techno, techno, techno. Yeah, it is. No. Ethan Chapel techno. So the Chapel team are running techno. And Kev Lee is running PR. Yeah, PR. Oh, Chapel's over. Kev Lee going to send it over inside and make the move stick. So 125 down, 335 to go. Kev Lee now leading James Chappell, Dan Austin in third, Harry Britton in fourth. So can Kev Lee hold on? Will he be under pressure? Down the straight they go. Chappell got some motor in that thing. And Dan Austin doing everything he can to chase down. 2.1 behind last time by Dan. Can you catch and pass James Chappell? We will see. So it's going to on the line. Looks like Ethan. So we've got Kev Lee, James Chappell, Dan Austin still your one, two and three. And Dan Austin closing the gap down to 1.8 last time by. So Kev Lee goes by 24-6, 24-7 from Chappell, 25-0 from Austin. So it's up to 2.1 with two minutes and 20 down. Two minutes and 40 seconds to go. Two minutes and 40 seconds to go. Dan Austin is off. So that's going to promote Harry Britton to a free spot, but Harry Britton has a small error. So Kev Lee and James Chappell working together to bump up into the four-wheel drive A main. As they cross the line, there's just 0.8 between them. 24-2 last time by from Kev Lee. Someone's over, Kev Lee's over. So Chappell going to go to the front. Kev Lee now got Harry Britton for company. As they drive through the S section, coming into a banking gap between them. Half a straight length. It's going to be about 1.2. So Kev Lee around the first corner, Harry Britton laying it down, hot lap off, the race goes to Harry Britton, so he is sending it, Kev Lee crosses the line, the gap between them, 0.9 of a second, Harry Britton throwing everything at it, getting sideways over the front section, comes out in one piece, facing the right direction, that's a crack kind of crash, crashes, carries speed in the right direction, lands on his wheels, pointing the right way, I'm not bitter, honest. <laughs> So Harry Britton looks closer once again as they cross the line and he is not, still 0.9. So Dan Austin is closing as well. So Kev Lee, Harry Britton, Dan Austin all on the straight together. James Chappell out front on his own pretty much. So Chappell crosses the line, oh Britton's over, Dan Austin not going to get by. So that's going to be a 1.6 second gap for Kev Lee. Chapel's over. Gets away with it, landing on his wheels. 
Everyone trying their best to throw this away. Harry Britton's over again. Dan Austin up to a free spot. 53 seconds remaining. Chapel into a bob hole now. There goes Kev Lee into a bob hole. And now Dan Austin. So gaps between them. 1.5 between Lee and Chapel. 1.8 between Lee and Austin. So Kev Lee's got to keep it rubber side down for the remainder of this race. And Ethan Chappell's just rejoined right in the middle of the leaders. Leaders over on the banking. Marshall's there as quick as he can. Austin's going to go by. So Chappell going to drop down to third with 24 seconds remaining on the master clock. Kev Lee to the front. Battle for second in the bubble. You've got Techno team going Austin and Chappell running second and third. This is your final lap through the front section of the go. Pink car versus orange car. Both of them are ugly, not because of the colour. So Austin and Chapel. Austin's over and he's on his roof. Chapel is going to go by. Austin succumbs to the pressure. Kevly into a bubble. Two corners to go to bring it home. James Chapel, two corners to go. Going to come across the line and take second place. Charlie Saunders, see final to a wheel drive. You Dean's getting a free gym membership. Charlie Saunders takes the dog out. <laughs> so what have we got out front? Cow show, don't know any of these colours. So I'm just going to chat a little bit. Oh, we've got a Bradley car out there. Can't believe Bradley stuff's still, still going around. He retired like 10 years ago. <laughs> what ball cups is he running? So Lee Carter leading him from Abe Lyons, Charlie Edwards, Archie Bowman, Joe this Cockill, Johnny Bromfield is your one to six, but it's carnage on the line, so that's going to be all change. So this is your two-wheel drive C final. Next up is your four-wheel drive B final. So free car breakaway at the front. Luckily, there's only two bump-up spots, so that makes it interesting for us. So Carter, Lyons and Edwards are your leaders coming through the front section. No, no one's paid for electricity bills, so those of you who use the power supplied in the barn, please can you come over and pay your fee so we can put some floodlights on, otherwise we're going to be racing in the dark. So Carter, Lyons and Edwards is your one, two and three. Two Bump up spots available, and at the minute that is Lance and Carter. Oh, Carter running wide, Edwards looking up the inside. Not going to make it stick. Oh, does he? Yes, he does. Oh, Carnage between second and third. So this is Lance, Lee Carter to break away. So coming into the end of the straight, we've got a two car battle for one bump up spot. <laughs> So Lyons and Edwards going across the line, Cash Cowan not far behind. Ooh. Oh, Edwards makes an error, Cash Cowan going to go up to a free spot. So 240 down, 240 down, 220 to go. And it is Lee Carter and Abe Lyons leading Cash Khan and Charlie Edwards. So Cash down the straight he goes. And White Wheel, Black Wing, I think is back marker. So second place of Abe Lyons crosses the line now, purple and green car. And then you have the yellow and blue of Cash Khan being chased down by the orange and grey of Charlie Edwards. And that is your one, two, three and four. Cockhill not far behind, just a second behind in the seven car so second place at the end of the straight third place start of the straight and cash can looks to be closing last time by two cents in his favor with three minutes and 18 down one minute and 40 seconds to go this time by abe lions off cash can charlie edwards in fact 25 4 gap is down to two seconds so abe lions on charlie edwards is over again cash can going to take up the mantle Gap is 2.3 between Lyons and Khan. 
Marshall's there as quickly as possible. I think that's our leader. No, no it's not. I'm lying. That's Charlie Saunders, back marker. So Cash Khan getting on two wheels on the pipe. Going to cross the line now. And the gap is 2.1 seconds. And Seek up there as well. Straight away, straight away, straight away. Clear. Someone's over the middle. Cash Khan's over the middle. That's going to cost him. So Seek up going to take up the mantle of third position. Can he chase down Abe Lyons? Down the straight they go. Looks like it is Abe Lyons and Seacup into the bubble together. That's not somewhere you want to be with Seacup. But anyway, round in front of the line they go. Gap is eight tenths of a second. So Lyons and Seacup with 40 seconds remaining. Miss lap and one more. So driving away from Rockham. Seacup's caught him. Can he get by? So Seacup. He knows how to drive because his dad's a ref. And he knows how to take someone out with it looking innocent. Whether he's got the talent to do it, still to be questioned. So with 20 seconds to go, oh, up inside and he's done it! Sends it up the inside by Seacup. So up to second he goes. This is your final lap. So race leader is... Seacup on the race leader, he is as well. Battle for lead. Oh, the both over! What's the over lines? He's going to go through. So they all straight, straight, half a car on the straight. <laughs> Someone's crashed. Don't really know what's happened there, but half a car on the straight away. Seacup's over the line. So Seacup takes the win. Charlie Edwards from absolutely nowhere going to come over. C final, four wheel drive. So our final, where we go. Sean Thompson leading Charles Prontis, Ollie Vaught, Graham North. Alex Callum, Phil Carrick, Stuart Harlow, Mark Gudgeon, Philip Brooks, Natalie Williams, Leo Morrell, Paul Timberlake. Here are your runners and riders. Didn't see which corner Leon cut, but he's already up to fifth position. Sixth position, maybe. Oh, someone's over in the middle, going to be costly. Ronafold crashing in his C final. And again. Ronafold laying down the laying down the crashes here. So Charles Crontis, Alex Callan, Ollie Vaux, Phil Carrick, Liam Morrell, Natalie Williams, Phil Brooks, Graham North, Sean Thompson, Paul Timblake, Stuart Harlow, and Mark Goodgen is your full running order. And Leon Morrell looking for double bump up to second position. Even Jack's going wild, smashing the fence up. I've heard Leon's had 217 laps of practice, that's why he's so quick. So Leon Morel running in second, but it is Charles Contis in the two car out front. And the battle is for the final bump up spot. Got Morel, Carrick, Williams and North all down the straight together, or all on the straight together. Just 2.3 seconds separating the three of them. Leon Morel clearly didn't get new tyres on that thing, he's pushing like a boat. Oh, two wheels from Morel. Carrick going big over jump, as does Williams. North not far behind. Oh, lead us over. One, two, three, four. North, he's going to bin it right at the critical moment. Well done, Graham. That's what you get for bench racing and not actual racing. Oh, Morel's over. Four going to go by. So absolute carnage on that lap is going to put Phil Carrick to the front from Natalie Williams. Charles Crontis, Lou Morel down to fourth. Harlow, North, Callan, Vaux, Brooks, Timberlake. What an absolute freight train we have there. So can they do, oh, it looks like Crontis is an error. So Morel going to go back up to the free spot. Two leaders at the end of the straight. Third and fourth at the end of the straight now. So Crontis and Morel. Crontis looking quick. Oh, Crontis up the inside. That's he's running more ponies, Leon. Leon's over again. North going to go by. All this is doing is Carrick and Williams out front, extending their lead. 2.30 down, 2.30 to go. Leon Morel has gone. Oh, there he is. So Leon Morel has hit the big red button. He's going Coco Bongo. And he's not going to finish this run with four wheels on his wagon. There's going to be a speedboat at some point. And I'm guessing it's off the jump. Meanwhile, out front, Phil Carrick coming onto the straightaway now. Oh, Charles Crontis, same place, same mistake. Going to be costly. So Graham North up to the free spot, straight away behind Natalie Williams running in second. And this is your full drive C final. 
Light is dropping. It's going to be some night racing for the A finals. But we don't care about that because we won't be racing. So race lead end of the straight now. Natalie Williams start of the straight. Graham North coming onto the straight in third now. So gap between Williams and North was 3.7. Oh, Natalie Williams getting it wrong at the start line. Going to cost a couple of tenths. Leo Morel still has four wheels on his wagon. Something's wrong with that. Runner folks on his roof again. So what have we got? Phil Carrick still leading by 6.4 to Natalie Williams. Then it's just 2.7 to Northy. So it looks like Williams just had a bit of a coming together with a back marker. There is 40 seconds remaining, 4-0 on the master clock. Phil Carrick out front by an absolute mile. <laughs> So Natalie Williams crosses the line, 2.7 was the gap, it's now two seconds. This lap and one more I reckon, it's going to be close. So Williams coming round, it's going to be close between Williams and Northy getting through for an extra lap. Northy's pushing and he's crashing, oh send it, so eight seconds remaining. Natalie Williams through the ball, ball. five seconds on the clock, Williams crosses the line, Northy gets through as does Harlow, you are done. Harlow, you are done. So Williams and North, this is racing to the line. Yellow car, centre of the track, being chased down by, oh, Northy. You're a disappointment to yourself, to us, to the crowd. What, what is the point? So Natalie Williams cruises yeah, off and away we go. Someone was late to the line. Cheers, Eugene. Oh, Marshall. D final. So that's going to mean Paul Kemp leads him round, but it looks like Charlie Saunders. Says the guy who doesn't recognise any body shells. So I'm just making it up. Polman's an absolute nightmare. Late to the grid, started last, had four crashes and not even crossed the line yet. Uh, I think I probably missed the loop. <laughs> Marshall at middle. It's not a Polman, is it? <laughs> so what have we got? It was Charlie Saunders, look at that. I don't know what I'm talking about. Paul Kemp, Matt Dunning, John Vickers, Simon Kemp, James Westmoreland, of BSB fame. Stuart Baldridge, Brett Stansfield, Chris Clark, David Gardner, Ian Ward and Luke Thompson is your full in order after one. So Charlie Saunders leads by one second, then it's just point two back to Matt Dunning. So Charlie Saunders getting a little bit wrong, so oh, 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 oh. well done that man. Oh. Oh. So after all that, Charlie Saunders now leads six seconds in front of James Westmoreland. John Vickers running third. Stuart Baldridge, Brett Stansfield, Chris Clark, Simon Kemp, Paul Kemp, Luke Thompson and David Gardner with four and one done and dusted. So West. Morland running in second and he has a 4.4 <laughs> second lead over John Vickers. <laughs> and then we've got Baldridge, Clark, Kemp, Kemp, Stansfield, Thompson and Gardner. So Charlie Saunders, your race leader, around the end of the straight he goes. And is that West Morland behind him? So gap has closed at the front quite significantly, was 5.6 seconds. As they cross the line this time, it's going to be 1.9. The mistake there from Charlie Saunders, but more importantly, Westmoreland to Vickers, 3.8. Hot lap of the race going to John Vickers that time round. So John Vickers closing in and wanting that bump up position. 
as we come through the S section. So Westmoreland is at the end of the straight as Vickers is at the start. So with two minutes to go, two minutes to go. Charlie Saunders crosses the line to put six laps on the board. Goes, there goes Westmoreland. And John Vickers, 3.4 now the gap. So it is coming down. So Vickers is slowly closing in on James Westmoreland. Is there enough time left? Oh, he's over. Marshall's there as quickly as possible. So I think that's going to be a change of position for third. And um, that's going to be Chris Clark, I think. Or what? Sorry, Paul Kemp up to third position. <laughs> so mistake there from Kemp, going to promote John Vickers back up to the free spot. All this is doing is a huge favour for James Westmoreland with one minute to go. He has three point, uh, sorry, 6.6 .6 seconds, and there is a huge battle for third. You've got Vickers, Kemp and Clark for a blank over three of them. Just 0 0.7 of a second between them as they come through the front section. Meanwhile, race leader coming into a bomb hole with 45 seconds remaining. Around in front of race control, crosses the loop. Nine laps on the board for Charlie Saunders. And he's been chased down on track by David Gardner who had an unfortunate incident earlier in the race and has demoted him quite heavily down the lead board. Vickers crossed the line, still in third. Then you've got Clark now up to fourth position. Kemp running in fifth. But James Westmoreland is 5.6 seconds in front with 20 seconds to go. So Charlie Saunders crossed the line. You are starting your final lap now. Westmoreland, oh, up on two wheels. Going to get away with it. He's used to two wheels, it's all right. Westmoreland crosses the line, starting your last lap now, but as does Vickers, Clark and Kemp. Simon Kemp, you are done. So battle for bump up. James Westmoreland got to keep it rubber side down. He's at the start of the straight now. Coming down the straight, taking it nice and easy in turn number one. So here comes James Westmoreland crossing the line to bump up. <laughs> D final four wheel drive. This is like a new track. Oh, that excuse. It's not though, is it? So Liam Morell makes it round turn number one. And oh, turn two, he's good. Into the bomb hole. Turn three, oh, clips a pipe, gets away with it. Turn number four is good. Five is good. Over jump. Yeah, he's made that front section. Jump one done, jump two done, jump three. Nicely done. Liam Morell out front for a lot longer than anyone expected. Oh, up on two wheels. Gets away with it, brings it down nicely. So Liam Morell down the straight. Full lap in the lead. Well done, Leon Morell being chased down by Ryan Clark in the two car. So this is where he hit the pipe last time. Gives it a wide berth. Pops a wheelie. That thing's a way too much power. Runs a little wide. Ryan Clark looks at the inside. Not going to make it stick. So whoever bet more than a lap, which was no one, you would have won some money. Meanwhile, Lee Talbot running in fourth position. Getting nibbled by someone. So Morell around the end of the straight, Clark running second, oh Morell's over, Talbot goes by, oh Marshall's there as quickly as possible, so this, Leon head down, there's going to be plenty more crashes, don't you worry, so Clark and Crawford go one and two, Talbot running in third, then we've got Hamilton, then Morell I think, Clark's over, Talbot's over, Morell goes up to the two spot, into bump position, oh man, Lee Talbot, that was painful, is one word. Uh, no. Is it? Yeah, Leon's back to the front. God, Talbot made an error. We distracted us all and Morel cut the track. <laughs> so Paul Timberlake now running in third, looking to double bump. So Leon Morel, race leader, coming down the straightaway now. He's been chased down by the old green car of Neil Hamilton. And then Paul Timberlake was running in third. Talbot's trying to make amends for his 37 second error. So Morell goes by, Hamilton goes by, 0.8 between them. Then it's Kev Lane, Paul Timberlake running second and third. Oh. 
So got to get the heads down and catch up if they want to be in this battle for bump because down the straight goes Leverell and Neil Hamilton in first and second. 2.30 down, 2.30 to go. Race lead last time by 0.8 of a second, then 2.6 gap back to the second and third, uh, third and fourth battle. North, can we have to race control, please? Go north to race control. So race lead across the line. There goes Neil Hamilton, 2.3 as a gap. But more importantly, Hamilton Timberlake, 3.1 seconds. Talbot making amends for his earlier error slash unfortunate accident. So 25-5 from Talbot, not the quickest lap. That belongs to Paul Timberlake, 25-3. Race lead across the line now, Leon Morel, 25-3 last time by for him. New hot lap of the race. What have we got? Leo Morel is your leader, driving sensibly. What's that all about? Five seconds clear, he's still being sensible. So battle is between Timberlake and Hamilton. 11 and 3, two seconds between them and Paul Timberlake looking to double bump. Nicely done. So Morel goes by, nine laps on the board, 50 seconds remaining. And X-ray, I know, X-gay, bit bad, isn't it? And double exploring, didn't it? And double exploring's quicker. Ooh. So Talbot making his way to third spot, three seconds off bump ups. It's Morel, Timberlake, Talbot, Hamilton with 30 seconds remaining. Morel goes by, looking for Timberlake coming through. And there he goes, and there goes Talbot. So the gap was three, it is now 2.8. So Talbot is closing. Can Timberlake hold it for the final lap? This is your final lap, guys. Racing to the line. Timberlake's going to have to keep it wheel side down. Morel coming out of the bomb hole. Nicely done. And Leo Morel going to take the... Uh, well, Leo Morel gets through for an extra lap. Timberlake, oh, he's over in the bomb hole. Gets away with it. Landing on his wheels. Racing to the line. Timberlake going to take the two spots. Talbot going to come home. 2.8. E final two wheel drive. So Luke Thompson leading away from Phil Campbell from pole. Can Danny Watson and Andy Bulmer make it four from four? They've not had the same start they've always had. In fact, they are 10th, uh, 11th and 12th. This is Danny Watts up five places, six places. Danny Watts on basically a brand new car, rebuilt by Trish in five minutes. Oh, he's crashed. So what's it going to be? Dead car on the straight, dead car on the straight, dead car on the straight. And it is clear. Just about clear. So David Garner leads to Luke Thompson, Ben Simpson, Jake Wilson, Steve Parkin, Rich Cooper, Andy Bulmer, Danny Watts, Lee Willows, Rich Newbold, Phil Campbell and Rob Horn. Full in order after one. Neil, behind you. David Garner, Ben Simpson. So Danny Watts up to fifth. 
but there is a four second gap to the lead so front three separated by just one and a half seconds Gardner, Simpson and Thompson two bump up spots between the three of them let's try and find them as they come across the line So Danny Watts up to the free spot. Five seconds behind it is Gardner, Thompson and Watts. So Danny Watts running in third. Can he go four from four, bumping up? Is that him on his room? Is it? Oh, Danny Watts. He just disappointed everyone. We're not angry. We're just disappointed. Trish is crying into a bag of old parts that he's just replaced on your car. So David Gardner in the five car leads Luke Thompson in the one by eight tenths of a second. E final two wheel drive is on at the minute. Next up, D final four wheel drive. So that's you, Norfie. So Luke Thompson going to the front. David Gardner having an issue out there. What's that going to mean? Ben Simpson running in second. David Gardner third. So the green car of Ben Simpson driving away from Rostrum now in second position. David Gardner down to third. Danny Watts in four. So second place around the end of the straight being chased down by the five car of David Gardner. Can't see which one the five is. I think it's the one behind him. It is. So yellow number eight, please be aware. Second and third behind you. Steve Parkin, second and third are behind you. And looks like they've got through. So battle for bump up is coming through the S section onto the bank corner now. Green car of Ben Simpson running in second. Blue car of David Gardner. Long time leader running third. Oh, Simpson's over. Marshall's getting there as quickly as can, but there's a few going to go by. Oh, carnage. So one minute to go. David Gardner giving a break there. Going to go by back into second. Third place still going to be Ben Simpson. Three seconds behind him. Danny Watts 1.4 behind. So David Garner got to keep it rubber side down for a final 50 seconds if he wants to bump up. Meanwhile out front Luke Thompson, 8 second lead for you. This is going well. So second place around the end of the straight. Ben Simpson sends it into the end of the straight once again. Flat out on his roof. So David Garner crosses the line and it looks like Danny Watts going to go up to a free spot. So free car be aware, second, uh, third place with you. So coming through the front side section, thank you very much. And very, ah, Danny Watts is not far behind with 20 seconds remaining. You're going to go this lap and one more. Race lead, uh, second place, end of the straight now. Third place, start of the straight. So yellow and blue car in the bomb will be aware. Second place behind you, Danny Watts is closing. So you are starting your last lap now. So yellow number 10, be aware. You will have second place with you. So David Garner got to keep it rubber side down. Danny Watts is closing. Danny Watts is over. Oh, he's going to pop a wheelie, end up facing him the wrong way. Absolute carnage. Ben Simpson going to go by for third spot. No, he's not. Drag race down the straight. Here he comes. But David Garner into the bomb hole. Just got two more corners to go. And he's going to take up the second bump up spot. Luke Thompson takes a win. He's going to take a bump up spot as well. E final, four wheel drive. So Paul Timberlake leading away from Richard Sharp, Callum Forever, Paul Hicklin, Ant Ross, Neil Lewis, Matt Gill, Andy Talbot, Steve Butterfield, John Vickers, and then your bumpers of Ewan Tumulty and Lee Houston. Okay guys. The 450 people using electricity in the building and the others that camped here last night, please can you come and pay your monies. This club is not a charity, it does cost money to improve these facilities and those facilities such as power, running water, nice toilets, cafeteria etc. We would really appreciate it if you can come and pay your fees. It's not a lot. Paying to Tom Cockrell. Checks made payable to Tom Cockrell, I don't mind or pay the club in race control. Pound for electric and two pound per person for camping. 
So Richard Sharp leading Paul Timberlake, Neil Lewis, Callum Treffer, Andy Talbot, Matt Gill, Lee Houston, Steve Fussfield, Ewan Tumulty, David Vickers, Paul Hicklin and Anne Ross. Oh, Steve Pearce smashes the fridge up in it. So Richard Sharp crosses the line from Paul Timberlake. And then we're expecting that. So Richard Sharp leading Paul Timberlake who has a four second lead over Andy Talbot. Then it's Neil Lewis in fourth position. Lee Houston, one of the bumpers running in fifth. Not quite as good as our two-wheel drive bumpers of Watson Bulmer, who are absolutely smoking it. Probably because Trish has rebuilt a new car every round. Trish is just running into the building with tyres. <laughs> I wonder where they're going. Danny Watts, you fit the right team. So Richard Sharp, Paul Timberlake looking to bump. Let's see where Talbot is. So there goes Timberlake. Oh, that's Lee Houston up to a free spot. Lee Houston, you are running in third. 3.8 off Paul Timberlake. So Houston and Timberlake is your battle to bump. So Timberlake crosses the line. Oh, Paul Hicklin jumping up to the third spot. We're just adding laps in here just to make it a close race out there. So Timberlake crosses the line, then goes Hicklin. And the gap is just 1.3 between Hicklin and Timberlake. So Ewan Tumulty, top bumper, up to four. But he is 5.5 behind. So, so where is this battle on track? And Ross, be aware, third place behind you. So first and second cross the line together. There goes Hicklin. So top three separated by just two seconds. Top two separated by a tenth. So driving away from a rostrum in the middle of a track. Oh, pink car rejoining. Go, Paul, go. So down the straight they go. First and second at the end of the straight. Third coming onto the straight now. So with one minute to go, this is going to be a battle. Free car battle for two bump up spots. Oh, one of them's over. And Ross being a factor. There goes the front arm on a Yokomo. Well, they're like rocking horse studio. <laughs> I've got 15 sets and we're all £15 each. <laughs> What's happening there? Race leaders down the straight, all three of them into turn one together with 26 seconds left on the master clock. He is, so this is a three-way battle for two bump-up spots. Green car crossing the line, get out of the way, you don't want to be a factor like Ant Ross. Oh, Paul Hicklin going side by side in the air, cross over each other. This is your battle, you are on your final lap, oh, one of them's over. Looks like that was sharp over. So Paul Hicklin into the two spot, is it? Paul over, so racing to the line. And Paul Timberlake takes the win, and Paul Hicklin going to come home in second. F final two wheel drive. So off and away they go. Jason Robinson leading Andy Minton. Mitten. Away from Paul, Mark of Sykes, Mike Agar, Tim Brown, Tom Stockhill, Mike Cockrell, Liam Robinson, Oliver Perk, Jerry Ibbotson, Andy Bull, and Danny Watts are your runners and riders. And let's see if any of these, well, let's see if Danny Watts and Andy Bull are going to double bump again. And we're not in the back of the pack, so there must be somewhere near the front. Oh, there's da Andy. Andy Bulmer's up to second and Danny Watts is third. Whoa, oh, second and third. Andy Bulmer's put a tyre change on. So he's serious about bumping. So can whoever is out front do anything about them? So will Watts, will Watts and Bulmer work together to triple bump? It is Andy Mitten out front. 
Andy Mitten blast from the past, as is Andy Bulmer. So Andy Bulmer and Andy Mitten used to race together at York and Bulmer's through. So Andy Bulmer back to the front, Andy Mitten second, Danny Watts third, down the straight, all three of them on the straight together. So this is a three-way battle for two bump spots. Someone's going to be That's unhappy. I mean, Bulmer and Watts have already bumped twice, and Watts is through. So Bulmer and Watts now running one and two for the third time today in three finals. Who is going to be bump king out of these two? So race leader is coming onto the straightaway right about now. Yellow and white wheels are over. Danny Watts going to go by. Andy Mitten going to go by. So Andy Bulmer drops to the free spot. Race leader around the first corner. That is Danny Watts in the orange and blue. Then you've got Mitten in the white and blue. Then you've got Bulmer in silver and yellow. So Danny Watts crosses the line. One minute 40 down. Three minutes and 20 to go. Bulmer and Mitten racing side by side through the jump, front jump section. Around the step up they go. And going to drive away from Rostrum. Someone's lost the body shell in the middle of the track. So Bulmer is looking racy out there. He's looking left, looking right, up the inside. Is he going to make it stick? No, he's crashed again onto the straight. Marshall's getting there as quick as he can. One car going to go by, two cars going to go by. So Andy Bulmer going to drop all the way down to a five spot. Makes it one spot straight away. So Bulmer up the inside of a five car as well. So it's now going to be Bulmer. You are four seconds behind Andy Mitten. So we've got Danny Watts at the end of the straight. He is your race leader. Second place onto the straight now. And third place coming onto the straight now. So Andy Mitten and Andy Bulmer will be battling for the final bump up spot. And we're at 2.40 down. 2.20 to go. Bulmer and Mitten. 2.9 the gap between them. Can anyone do anything about them? What's Danny Watts up to? Danny Watts around the end of the straight. So he is keeping it real out front, looking to triple bump. Can Andy Bulmer join him? The length of the straight between Mitten and Bulmer, running second and third, with two minutes to go into the ball of a go and out again. Andy Bulmer running yellow and white wheels. Oh, he's on his roof. Marshall's getting there as quick as they can. Great marshalling. So that's going to give Andy Mitten a bit of a breathing space. Gap is back to six seconds. But Andy Bulmer, your best lap is one and a half seconds quicker. Without these errors, you would be there, no worries. So it looks like Andy Mitten down the straightaway now. In the blue and white car, Marshall near the line. Kid is there, excellently done. So this should be Andy Mitten coming across the line now. It is. And Andy Bulmer crosses the line. 3.4 is a gap. Your best lap of the race there, Andy, 26.6. So Danny Watts out front, 13 second lead, but the battle for second and the final bump up spot coming onto the straightaway now. Andy Mitt and Andy Bulmer into the end of the straight they go. Oh, Andy Bulmer's over again. Stop crashing, man. What are you doing? So what have we got? 30 seconds remaining, 30 seconds remaining. Battle for second is going into a bomb hole now. Andy Mitten and Andy Bulber coming round onto the starting your last lap now. So this is your battle for bump up over the front jump section. Andy Mitten's just got to keep it rubber side down. Andy Bulmer's got to catch and pass on this final lap. So we are Coming through onto the straightaway now. Two crash cars, stay tight. Oh, Papa Smurf. Oh, Papa Smurf causes carnage. But both are over. Andy Bowman's going to get away with it. Papa Smurf lost his body shell. So Andy Bowman, stroke of luck, stroke of genius, going to come home in second and take the second bump spot. So Danny Watt's going to come home. Four wheel drive, F final. So Lee Tumulty leading away from Paul from Reese Trevor Arthur, Andy Wynn, Jack Dunn, Harry Saunders, Adrian Parks, Lee Euston, Ewan Tumulty and Alan Trevor are your runners and riders.
So this is your full drive F final and these guys are racing for bump up spots into full drive E final. And I'd love to tell you the order but computer says no. Oh, camera straight, camera straight, camera straight. Yeah, Marshall's there as soon as he can. Oh, Marshall in the middle. Bolo, Marshall in the middle. Anyone Marshall in the middle? There we go. He's there. Look at that guy, Marshall. Look at him go. So, Ewan Tumulty leads from last. So, car number eight, Ewan, going to the front, followed by Lee Tumulty. And looks like that's a broke for car number five. So, Harry Saunders popping a ball joint. So, it is a Ewan and Lee show. Out front, go one and two. Lee Hewson chasing them down. And those three are battling for two bump up positions. So coming, driving away from the rush from the middle of the track, going to hang a left. You've got the blue car, I think. Can't see. Yep, blue car down the straight is your leader. Then we've got pink and white. And then we've got the all silver of Lee Hewson. So that is three cars going into bomb hole, battling for two bump up spots. One minute and 30 down, 3.30 to go. Crossing the line to put three laps on the board. 1.6 sep seconds separating the three of them. Coming around the mini bank corner, around the step up jump they go, and drive away from the roster of Lee Hewson. Oh, Tum Lee Tumulty's over. So Lee Hewson going to go through to the two spot. Oh, Lee Tumulty's broke. So pop the steering on that one. So that's going to lead you and Tumulty out front from Lee Hewson, and Adrian Park's going to take up the three spot. So Adrian Parks, I think, is the orange and yellow car coming across the line now. Look at that, I've got something right. So Adrian Parks, your target is the all-silver car coming onto the straightaway now. So that is your second place, third place onto the straightaway now. So gap last time by was 4.4 seconds. What's it going to be this time around? Ewan Tumulty crosses the line, he is your race leader. Lee Houston goes through in second, I've told he's been rolled it. There goes Adrian Parks, 2.7 is the gap. Both of them on the front jump section together. So Lee Houston in the all silver car, Adrian Parks in the yellow and orange. He'd be quicker with white wheels, but he doesn't mind the handicap. So Lee Houston round the end of the straight. So white and orange car, end of the straight. Be aware, third place behind you. Thank you very much. Three the bomb all the go. So race leaders into the front jump section. Second place into the front jump section. And here comes third place. So 5.3 seconds separating the three of them. With three minutes down and two to go. So you and on to the straightaway now. Car end of the straight, black and white wheels. Race leader behind you. Thank you very much. AD Parks is over, I'm told. So Lee Houston and Yoon Tumulty are battling out at the front. Adrian Parks dropping right down. Gap at the front, just one and a half seconds. With one minute and 30 to go. Two pump up spots available. And you two running first and second. Not much between them. AD Parks looking through to come through in third. And he is six seconds behind. So race leader around the end of the straight he goes. There goes second bit around the end of the straight. Coming into a bomb hole and driving away now. So two wheel drive marshals out there now. If the marshal doesn't come and relieve you, please double stint for us. It would be very much appreciated. So marshals out there now, if you don't get someone to take your spot, please double stint. It would be very much appreciated. So you and Tumulty still leading this one from Lee Hewson. You and round the end of the straight. And um, there goes Hewson. So Houston and Parks is close, so black and red car into the bomb hole, be aware, you're between second and third. So there goes second across the line, all white car, you have second place behind you, red and black car, you have third place behind you. This is a final, please yield, or just take them out. I mean, that is the other option, not the most preferred. So coming into your final 30 seconds. Race leader into the bomb hole, second place, going to come into the bomb hole now. Sorry to people in the building who have deafened, not my fault. <laughs> so race leader, you and Timothy crosses the line, take the win. Lee Houston going G final, two wheel drive. 
So off and away they go. Ethan Lee leading off the pole. Followed by Alfie Ross and Bryce Greenwood. So Ethan Lee led this one away from pole. Eyes on Danny Watson, Andy Bulmer coming through from the back of the grid. Have a bumped up last time. Nice best, Neil. Neil, like it. Effort, that's all that matters. So Andy Bulmer and Danny Watts leading this one. So two bumpers are out front by an absolute mile. Three seconds in front of Bryce Greenwood in third. There's been a bit of carnage out there. Dead car on the straight, 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 clear. So Mike Riley is done and dusted. Not even running Mtronics. So uh, uh, Andy Bulmer, Danny Watts are your one and two. And they're split by just a quarter of a second, but both bumping. And we have a nine second lead over Bryce Greenwood. Oh, three wheels on his wagon, purple car in the middle. Yep, got it and crashed on it. Go on, Talbot, get it, man. get in it. Talbot, just so you know, Leon beat you on best lap and in the race. But not on qualifying. You qualified so well, behind you, behind you, behind you. You qualified so well, you got to Marshall. <laughs> so, Danny Watts, Andy Bulmer, five seconds between them now. Watts leading Bulmer by five seconds and 3.6 back to Bryce Greenwood. So we'll throw, oh, good marshalling, Lee. That's marshalling of a champ. And again. There you go. Oh, so Andy Bulmer crashing at the end of the straight. And he's in a load of sand, sprays it up. So I think this is your battle for bump up coming into a bomb hole now. Let's see as they come across the line. So here goes Andy Bulmer. Andy Bulmer leads. And Danny Watts going to come through in second half. Bryce Greenwood. So that is your battle for bump up coming out of Front side now, going away from the rostrum. You've got the blue and orange car, then you've got the orange and white behind them. So Danny Watts end of the straight. Now oh, Bryce is over. It's going to cost them a whole bunch of time, giving Danny Watts a bit of a breather. So with 2.45 down, 2.15 to go. It is Andy Bourne with Danny Watts, Bryce Greenwood, last time by. Danny Watts getting it wrong at the line, going to cost himself a little bit of time. And looking for third place through, and there he goes, Bryce Greenwood running in third, eight seconds now behind Danny Watts. So it all changes very quickly in this one. So race leader Andy Bulmer around the end of the straight he goes, yellow wheels, silver and yellow car. I want to remember Andy bumping up three times in full drive here as well, and then thermals halfway through the last his last attempt. So Andy Bulmer, king of the bump round here, it's fair to say, and looking to go bump number two. Out of two, Danny Watts goes through in second position. Then we've got Bryce Greenwood 4.4 behind with one minute and 30 to go. So there's going to be a battle. It's going to be there. So watching Danny Watts should be coming onto the straightaway right about now. And Bryce Greenwood just coming away from the bomb hole. Oh, Danny Watts is over. Lee Martin going to do some champion marshalling by missing it. Talbot winning something today. Shame it wasn't against Leon. So Danny Watts having an error that time round. What's that going to do to this battle for bump up? Coming into the final minutes, Bryce Greenwood crosses the line and the gap is six seconds. Talbot going two from two against Leroy. <laughs> so Danny Watts around the end of the straight and into the ball he goes. Oh, is that the battle for bump up? So Danny Watts going to cross the line now. Um, no, it's not. That's Alfie Ross, who is running in fifth position. So third place going into a bomb hole now with 30 seconds remaining. March from the bomb hole, march from the bomb hole, march from the bomb hole. Go, 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 go! Talbot almost beat you and he started four miles away. His hairline was six. So with 15 seconds remaining, Andy Bulmer starting his last lap, looking to go double bump, and Danny Watts coming around, he starts his last lap now, also looking to go double bump, I don't think Bryce is going to get through. So we've... 
Race time expired. You are racing to the line. And it looks like Andy Bulmer and Danny Watts both going to bump again to go two from two. Here, final two wheel drive truck. They see me rolling. Oh, Talbot crashes and is still in front of Leon. <laughs> so, Lee Martin away from pole, no worries there. So Lee Martin leading this one into the bubble he goes and he's been chased down by the two truck of Andy Wesson and then behind him there is absolute carnage. Eugene Galley trying his best to come up from 11th and he's made it 11th to 3rd. Hicklin, you run 4th, Green, Talbot, Pierce, Lewis, Fyatt, Brown, Khan, Morell, Bellwood and Bellwood is your full in order and there is absolute carnage in the middle with 5, 6, 7 car freight trains. Looks like Talbot's leading that one. So battle for second, Wesson and Galley coming into Bobo. Galley had some very good pace in qualifying but didn't finish all four rounds. And that is why he started 11. So Leon Morell, you need to find one, two, three, three seconds to Talbot. Not that we're goading you on, but Talbot is beating you. So Galley, drag race down the straight. Wesson's going to take it into turn number one. So battle for second. Wesson and Galley into the mall. Oh, Wesson's over. So it's now going to be a battle for third between Wesson and Green. And then Talbot running in fifth. Then we've got the all-white truck of someone. I'm going to guess Andy Hicklin. Yep, then we've got the silver of Steve Pearce, Neil Lewis, Cash Carr, Leon Morell in there as well. Through the middle, but Lee Martin crossing the line 25 1 last time by 24 7 best lap. Galley 24 9 best lap. So Galley doing his eight second lead for Lee Martin with two minutes down and three to go. Galley gonna throw everything at it, but I reckon it's gonna take a couple of errors. Leon Morell, that was terrible. Don't, don't pretend it's broke, just take Talbot off because he's beating you, mate. Talbot's fit in America, that's a podium because everyone deserves a medal. So Martin, Galley, Wesson, Green, Talbot, Pierce, Lewis, Khan, Hicklin, Morell, Brown, Bellwood and Bellwood are your, is your full run order. With 2.30 down and 2.30 to go. So race leader out of not out of the that was Pierce. Looks like race leader's out of the ball, in, out of the ball, uh, ball, ball now. So Eugene closing the gap down to seven and a half seconds. So it looks like Lee Martin's gone past. Was that Liam Morell? Maybe. Oh, Talbot, do him, do him, Talbot, do him. Laughing at you, Talbot. Oh. Oh, oh. Get it, up. get it, get it. Oh, Leon's going to do him. So Leon and Talbot now racing for it. So Talbot down to eighth position. Morel in nine. Coming on to the bank corner we go. Talbot getting a little bit unlucky with that markers. It's fair to say. So Morel putting it up on two wheels, so Cash and Martin now are going to split them. Talbot's over, drag it away, oh! Go on Talbot, send it! Oh, Talbot coming off worse there, so it's now Morel from Khan. Be aware, Blue Car is your second place in the middle of all that. So Leon, second place behind you, even when he gets there. So absolute carnage with Morel, Khan, Hicklin and Talbot all running around together. Around the back corner we go, Maz. has a 12 second lead over Galley. He's just been caught in an epic battle for, well, last basically. So Neil Lewis, that's second place with you. But then you've got Morell behind you. So Lewis and Morell battling for six. Then we've got Khan, then we've got Talbot, who did get a bit screwed over by back markers, but we'll just ignore that. 
So 1, 11, 2, 3, 5, 7, 13, 4, 12, 8, 6, 9 and 10 is your running order. So Lewis and Leon going into a bubble. Talbot not far behind. 30 seconds to go. So Talbot Morell's been taken out. They'll go from the last lap. That's my guess. So you guys, Morell, I think you're through for your final lap. As is Lewis, as is Talbot. So race is on. And Morell's through. So Morell taking it up to the sixth spot on the last lap. Down the straight they go. Nine seconds on the master clock. So into the end of the straight, three, two, one, races, time is up, finish your laps, you're on, Eugene, you're through, Eugene, you're through, oh, Talbot's covered track and meet Leon, and <laughs> Leon was waiting for him, <laughs> so Lee Talbot going to come home in sixth, Leon seventh, Hicklin in eighth, Kashkar ninth, Leon Lewis in tenth. Steve Pearce, he finished fourth, Andy Wesson finishing fourth. G final two wheel drive. So off and away we go. Fast start by number three, Pink Wheels going up to second. And then a few little errors. So it is going to be the yellow wheeled orange and silver car crossing the line now. And Muzzy start on making all first pass, so I can't tell you any numbers. Tommy Hall, that marshman position is the best. Free gym membership. He got beat, beat by Paul Crompton in a running race. Oh. <laughs> so Danny Watts is leading in the four car from a five of Andy Bulmer. Uh, looks like six of Simon Major, so four, five and six is your gap. So we are one lap down. Andy Bulmer was your leader last time. Someone's just sprayed Craggy with sand. So there goes Andy Bulmer crossing the line now. There goes Danny Watt. So as it stands, you two will bump. Looking for Simon Major next across the line in third position. And there he goes. So Simon, you've got a seven second gap to make up if you want to bump. So Andy Bulmer, Andy Bulmer leads three seconds in front of Danny Watt. So we've got Simon Major seven seconds behind that. So Danny Watts now to the front, one second in front of Andy Bulmer. So a bit of a race going on for the lead. And they cross the line now, so coming into the front jump section. Tommy, you're struggling out there, mate. You need a bit more exercise. It's fun, isn't it? You'll have that coat off in no time, mate. Oh, Carly coming straight away. Flirt. So looking for Danny Watts in the four car, Andy Bulmer in the five. God, Tommy in the middle. Even Craggy's having to work. Oh, look at Neil's done. Go on, you know. <laughs> so Neil is done. First aid to the middle of the track. <laughs> so race leader is Andy Bulmer last time by. Back to four seconds in front of Danny Watts. So Danny Watts having an error that time round. And the race leader's around the end of the straight. Silver and orange car, yellow wheels. With 340 down, now 120 to go. Race leader coming across the line now to put seven laps on the board. 28 
six. Last time by Frundo. There goes Danny Watts, just three seconds behind. 27-7 for Danny Watts. So that gap is closing on the second lap as it stands. Tommy, you're right. You cold? Or you got a bad hand? So our race leader's over in the middle. Tommy's there as quick as he can. He's already run six kilometres this race, so a bit slower than usual. So that's going to put Danny Watts up to the lead. Andy Bulmer down to second. Top two bump, remember? So top two bump. So Danny Watts leading Andy Bulmer and Simon Major is your one, two and three. And try and pick out our race leader. I think he's coming across the line now in the blue and orange car. Yes, it is. And he puts a lap on Simon Major. And there goes Andy Bulmer. So Andy Bulmer's 25 seconds in front of Simon Major. That battle for the third bump-up spot. As we come into your final five seconds, close out order. Watts, Bulmer, Major, Wilkinson, Lee, Plant, Little, Vickers and Devani Agar. So Danny Watts going to bring this one home, coming out of the bomb hole now. He's going to come round in front of race control and take the win. Tyler Liddell, can you swap with Tommy Hall for Marshalling? We don't actually want to kill Tommy. Just trying to have a bit of exercise. Your turn now, Tyler. And two wheel drive marsh A final marshals, remember, double stinting for us. Thank you very much. So Danny Watts. 